a lot of people commented that we did not touch upon the thousand crore being paid to defame Rahul Gandhi claim by Priyanka Vadra uh, by the BJP. Well, um, the bigger question is why should someone even spend any money trying to defame Rahul Gandhi and every time he opens his mouth, there's always a problem. He doesn't seem to have that one knack of being able to form sentences that are coherent, that he can talk on a topic for like two, three minutes at a stretch. You know, you know how does one make a small speech? You come out with a hypothesis, you can say this is what it is and then you describe why the topic is important, the pros and cons and then you come up with a conclusion saying that hence so and so is what is what. So this is the kind of format that everyone follows whether it is a short story or an article or a blog, a video blog anything like that we come out we make a statement and then we expand on it and then you conclude why your statement is correct standard format when rahul gandhi doesn't seem to be capable of even making something of this nature five minutes people put him up and say speak for 30 minutes and the man is just caught like a deer in headlights He's just not able to do it and it's now many many years he seems to have a certain thing that if I show up people will vote for me. This attitude has to change that he needs to actually express himself. He needs to say what he stands for and say it in a coherent manner and unless he does that well you don't need thousand crores he's doing it all by himself and let us say that he somebody did spend thousand crores. Where did they spend it? Do you have any idea Priyanka? See, that's the other problem. You can't just shoot and scoot. These things, you get caught very fast. So that is the other challenge they have. And even if they did spend 1000 crores, you have an unlimited amount of money at your disposal. Why don't they outspend them? Find out where they are spending it. Most likely advertisements, sound spots and things like that. Outspend them. Find a way to make the messaging stronger. Find and buy those spots yourself. See, my point in saying all this is, this shoot and scoot, tactics won't work as Mr. Kejriwal also is finding out. As to the people that who are as to the people who are accompanying him in the Bharat Jodo Yatra, Ram, Raghuram Rajan. Someone said that this could be the Manmohan Singh should the Congress under Rahul Gandhi stab, form a government. Who knows? Uh, and then there is also uh, I think Kamal Hassan and I've already told you about them. Constipation of ideas, diary of words. That kind of sums up who he is and what he stands for. Once you take him out of the movie set, out of the scene, he seems to just blabber, endless. Anyway, that's my two cents. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know where I'm wrong and one speech of his which is coherent. Again, it goes back to the old thing I said. When you have to say something, you have to have a topic, a hypothesis on which you expand after that and then you conclude why you are saying in your title is right or wrong. Sometimes it can even be wrong. So there are other people that were part of this Yatra. One of them was Amarjit Singh Dulla. And a lot of stuff has come out vituperative saying that this man is an enemy of the country. Take a step back and think about it. Do you think the successive governments would have given him such high responsibilities if he was an enemy of the country? Just because you don't like what he stands for doesn't mean that you go about doing character assassination. I've had some inputs from a person who has worked very closely with A.S. Dulat and he said he was one of the finest leaders that he ever worked under. Also A.S. Dulat um, always tried to tell that the system is rotten from within that needs to be changed. Now you can go and throw mud at him that why did he have to go and write a book, co-author a book with an ex-head of ISI, himself being an ex head. Hey, the whole thing is Akhand Bharat. If there are two well-meaning individuals who want to write together and express how the whole country can unite, there's nothing wrong in letting them write. Once Dulat really retires from uh, service, he's a free person just like you and I. Anybody can write any uh, anything, any expression and they can you know have any kind of an opinion and if you like it read it if you want to not read it it's up to you it's your time and your time and something similar i'm seeing with dr subramanian swami also 
you don't know you the viewer don't know how many times he has helped people just because those people needed helping and that he was in a position to do so only recently i came to know about how he saved an army officer who was posted in kashmir and he was about to be court martialed for something that he didn't do it was a fake evidence false evidence that was being foisted upon and and the government of the day wanted to court martial him then he presented all the data and he saved that fellow same thing with uh, rajesh singh the uh, uh, ed officer who was you know everybody wanted to politically hang him they wanted to send him home on 56 j but dr swami was always there every step of the way making sure that the modi government didn't touch i'm saying about the modi government i no listen i am not holding a briefcase for anyone if the modi government did a mistake i'm going to say it on their face to them in and and in my opinion what happened with sanjay srivastava what is happening with ndtv now how they try to you know screw rajeshwar singh over all these things happen this is not something that is out of fiction same thing when dr swami was a member of rajya sabha and he was a member of the health committee of parliament then he having seen covaxin trials and their track record and their you know background of research and so on he was the one who insisted that the icmr take a look at their uh, data their trials before they try to say no to them because the initial stance of icmr was this was a new company they weren't sure how good the vaccine was but once they saw the data once they saw that it was actually quite effective then they gave approval and now many of us have taken co vaccine whether it is one dose or two dose or whatever but there are always vested interest vested interest who don't want to let a new person in a new entity in i mean this is it doesn't matter what religion what um, background what country this is the way the world works the person who is enjoying status quo wants to continue doing that because that's how they made their money because they would have struggled against somebody else to get to where they did take this thing from me guys india has a lot of flaws india has a lot of faults india is an imperfect democracy but there are always nuggets that you can unearth and whenever you get a chance to do that if you are in a position to help them please do so wholeheartedly today the the modi government sends out its it guys who are constantly taking pot shots at all you take any statement of his they are making some snarky remarks but they don't want to uh, try to explain what happens when the government doesn't show up for many cases and thereby gives a walk over how many times did chidambaram get a walk over when he was sure appearing for bail in front of uh, judge op saini the, the the government uh, lawyer didn't show it was just a walk over so why don't you guys ask about that and today we are seeing we have been telling you about the new Shah, shaheen bag 2.0 that is taking shape and today we are seeing that the supreme court has issued a stay did anyone go in to see what the arguments of the case was did the government do a good job presenting its arguments in, in this case i would say railways because it is railways property did they do a good job or did they do a shoddy job can anyone check on that i am going to try and see if i can publish a report today on p gurus on what really played out there thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar